Jason here. Jason is over here. Uh, I'm out and about today in my uh, hometown of. Well, let, not not let's not say home hometown. I wasn't born here, and some people are sticklers to that. But I have lived in this area for off and on twenty-ish years, and uh, just out and about, and and, and there's a been a few things that have irritated me a little bit and one of them is uh, having to do with the Presbyterian Church in Charlestown which is pretty interesting see the church has just gone through some uh, renovations they're bringing the scaffolding down and uh, that scaffolding can be pretty expensive just the rental fees itself and then whatever the renovations may be uh, be it, uh, you know, the persons who attend the church or belong to the church donated money to get the repairs done, renovations, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, it, it's probably, I don't know, in the range of, I'm just going to guesstimate, $150,000 to $250,000 to whatever they did. I think some stained glass replacement or a stained glass window replacement the renovations the scaffolding rental and uh, the church has been there a long time long long time it was originally on an, a, a lot on the other end of town and that's the source of the problem that I have is what's going on with that lot at the end of the end of town that has become a burden to this church and this is, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this is the lot of concern. It said in the southwest corner of Southwest Street and, and West Con Congress Street. The original church, Presbyterian Church of Charlestown, used to sit, I believe, here. And the other issue is there's 60, possibly more graves here. And they want to move them because cutting this lot has become a burden to the church. And I find it a bit disgraceful. It says uh, the, the church states that it has no monetary value to them. Well, of course it doesn't. Not right now. But if the graves are removed, they can sell the lot probably to the town who knows I just find it a bit disgraceful so somewhere in this lot is the remains of 60 plus people and I think it's uh, when this road was widened years ago they all for some odd reason they removed all the gravestones and threw them into a hole and just covered them up. So this is where I can't stand the corporation of a church. These are people that helped, if not one of some of the original congregation that built that church. And now they wish to just get rid of the burden this is why nowadays you don't see many churches built with cemeteries around them because they eventually become a burden a lot of the older community churches that you see in rural areas yeah that's just how they were back then but built in towns like this no they're not gonna have graveyards the graveyards themselves have become corporations selling off plots you know, charging you a thousand dollars just to dig a hole. So, it's one reason why I, I probably prefer to be cremated and have my ashes spread at a later date with no fees. Just my opinion. Jason is over here. Talk at you later. Oh. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.